When I retired back in 2007, uh, I'd already decided to move to Kentucky. I'd visited several times, fell in love with the place. One of the teachers on the team had a magazine that said, best place to retire in the country, Danville, Kentucky. So we chose Danville. And when I got here, I figured you know, being a history teacher, being a genealogist since 1966, uh, I work on uh, uh, genealogies of Boyle County and Danville families. What I found out was that most of the work for white families had already been done, but there was virtually nothing for African-American families. And I don't want any young black person in this county to say, I can't trace my ancestry, I can't find my ancestors. So that started me, and that was three, four years before this organization was, was formed. I already had 3,000 transcribed death certificates by the time this group got started. The city of Danville owns Hilldale Cemetery. It's the second oldest black cemetery. Uh, and the city says there are 1,500 people buried there. Well, I, I found there were a lot that the city didn't have. So uh, starting off with a couple of other people, but uh, finishing it pretty much by myself, I walked the entire six, seven and a half acres of the cemetery and recorded every single stone there. Uh, I came up with, with 4,000 burials that I knew of, and the city said 1,500. Now, anybody who wants to find a, a relative who has a stone can go to the uh, African American uh, website, check out the records, and if there's a stone there, we know exactly where it is. We can walk right to it. And in fact, we have taken several people to their ancestors' stone, which wasn't even recorded in city records. The work is important because so much has been lost. And sadly, uh, anybody under 50 won't even remember that it ever existed. So we've got to we've got to preserve it. You've noticed probably all over the place the bird with its head turned backwards uh, going after an egg. That's a, the uh, African symbol Sankofa, which translates to there's nothing wrong with going back and getting what you have lost. And that has become our brand. We're going back and getting what has been lost.